Hey, what is up guys? Clay here from the Mark SMC, and today I'm going to be going over Mojang's latest snapshot for Minecraft, 16W38A. So before I get into the actual snapshot video, look at this amazing generation right here. That's that's pretty cool, but I just wanted to point that out really quickly. And before I get into the stuff that was added, um, or at least the notable stuff that's not a bug that was added, check this interesting bug out that I found. Okay, if you put on an elytra, now I'm sure it won't do this if you have a cape, but uh, the elytra's a bit glitched as you can see. For some reason it's popping my Minecraft skin up. Now I don't know if it's because I have an Optifine cape, even though I can't see it because I don't have Optifine, but I wonder if that's like interfering with it on here or something, but that's definitely a bug. Um, I'm sure it's been reported. If not, I might report it myself. But yeah, let's just get right into the actual good stuff that was added in this snapshot. So the first notable change is that squids, they no longer spawn in lava as of this snapshot. 1.10, they would sometimes spawn in lava, which was just kind of weird. It didn't make any sense. I've actually seen them sometimes spawn. They fixed that now. They, they don't spawn in lava at the certain levels, so that's, that's great. We don't have to witness poor squids die, because I know I didn't like watching that. So the next thing is two new game rules were added. The first one being do weather cycle and defaultly it's set to true of course so you know when it rains or like it'll actually start to rain and then it can go away etc but if you have it set to false rain will never happen and if you are to make it rain or snow or whatever it will never go away so this is very nice for like map creators and stuff to where if they don't want it to rain or if you just don't want it to rain in general in your world and now the next change is the other game rule which is max entity cramming and by default, it is set to 24, and what that means is you can actually have up to 25 mobs on a single block, and then the 26 mob, it'll start suffocating. So I'll just show you what I mean by that. So we're going to get a bunch of cows, and then we're going to spawn in 25. Okay, I do believe I have 26 cows in there, and if I place this cow in there, yep, as you can see, if I spawn the cow really anywhere, I believe it's anywhere on the y-axis of the block, Nah, not really. But if I try and spawn any more cows, other ones, just, they just start suffocating. And then if I change that value to, let's say, two, all those cows are going to die and I'm going to be left with three. Now, I don't get why is the value, like, why you're able to have one more than what the actual value is. I don't see what the point of that is. So you're able to have up to a max of, like, 25-ish mobs in a single block area before they just start dying. And I do believe when you set it to zero it completely disables it which means you can have i believe as many mobs as you want in here which i don't really see the point in that i would think you would want it to have a certain limit so you don't cause server to have major lag in certain areas now something to note is that this rule does not affect minecarts and boats so you can still have as many minecarts and boats on one single block as you want which i, I just don't see the point in that Another notable change is that mushrooms now really appreciate to walk on mycelium. Uh, they, they say it probably feels soft and cozy on their hooves. Now the next change is actually something you know if you're wanting to, if you're like one of those people that like to be keyboard warriors in the Minecraft chat, you can now type up to 250 characters in the Minecraft chat. So we're just going to type until we can hit that limit. Okay, and then when you press enter, look, look at that. You can now have that much text in one go of Minecraft instead of, I believe it was a hundred, I believe. Now the last change I'm going to bring up to you guys is that now Elytras, they render on armor stands and other entities. So now you can see them perfectly fine on armor stands. But I believe with them adding this that it has caused the glitch that you see on me now. I mean, look at this. What What is this bug? Oh, it needs to be reported. That is all for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. And if you want to see more snapshot videos, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for all that. And hopefully next week after Minecon, because Minecon is this weekend, hopefully next week we'll have some very juicy stuff to go over for the upcoming Minecraft update. And hopefully I will be doing a video over that. So yeah, if you guys want to see more videos like this, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you then. Peace out.